Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, let's see if this recording is going to work for me. Uh, basically, Graf just summoned a worm. I was going to uh, start it up sooner than this. I apologize. What the hell is that? What will you do, Faye? If you die here, then so be it. You may indeed gain some happiness from not knowing, but surely that is not what you truly want. If you want to know the truth, and that is what you want, isn't it, Faye? Then this is what to do. You must show me that you have attained the level of strength I require. To do that, you must destroy others by using your own strength. Then you will gain all that was lost in exchange for that scream of death. <laughs> okay. Wait, we're not finished talking yet! Mr. Worm here thinks so. Alright, let's hope I can get through this without uh, the game crashing. I like how I do zero damage, that's great. They missed me at least. So I just blast them with guided shots, because that seems to do a nice chunk of damage to them. Oh, he still absorbs fuel when I do that. Alright. That's not great. He has like two attacks from every one. Like, what is this? Shit, the game hasn't crashed yet though, that's good. I gotta do zero damage, what's up with that? He steals my fuel, what the fuck? I like to think I'm over leveled. Oh, he died. Alright, he wasn't too bad then. He was just an asshole and stole my fuel a lot. I could have just guiding shot at him that much, I guess. Hey, we leveled up! We got one EP, one attack, one hit percentage, one defense, one ether. And I learned Hagan. And I got an eyeball. That's thrilling. Are you alright? Faye? I'm fine. The gear seems to be broken though. I'm so glad that you are unharmed. The gear only had temporary repairs made on it. They were not made to survive an outright battle like that. Faye? Oh no, the MA military! Not now! Faye, I think we should remain calm. Faye? Look at that soulless face. Worms do make that sound, apparently. Welcome back, Trife. Again, I apologize for the uh, issues that we were having, people. Hopefully, I've solved them. And I just realized I may actually already own Xenogears on the PS3, and if I do, I'm an idiot. Crunchy, hello. Let us join together.
P is in first place. That's right. I never thought we'd meet again like this. It must be fate. How ironic. But I'll never let you have him. <laughs> Even if it kills me. Well, I'll hopefully be able to save here soon, at the very least. How you doing, McRachi? How are you, Faye? Did you sleep well? Huh? Uh, well, sort of. Sorry I messed up. I was careless. That gear is a top-secret experimental model from Kislev. It was only natural that Eve would also be madly searching for it. Faye, are you hurt? You do not look so well. Well, I suppose you could say I was hurt. That man in black spoke of your father's fate. Is that what is wrong? There is that too, but... It's the other stuff he said. What happened at Lahan was all planned to get me to ride in that gear. Or so he claimed. That's got me worried. Alright, let's save. <laughs> We're having some crash issues today with the game, so. Almost recovered from being sick? Oh man, you've been down since, uh, since, uh, Sunday uh, afternoon. That was, uh, what did you say you ate? To get you to ride in that gear? Doc, before the village was destroyed, I lived without doubting myself. But it's different now. I don't know who I am. I've never felt like this before. Well, we cannot do anything as long as we are prisoners. Even if we wanted to. Let us rest a little. Maybe we'll sort out your feelings out a little. Good idea. Friday night. Oh, okay, gotcha. It was him, no mistake. That was no coincidence. Could it be that we are approaching the time of the gospel? The fuck are you talking about, Satan? Yes, the gospel. We are the people expelled from paradise and forced to live on the cruel surface of the earth. We who fill this land will once again return to the presence of God in paradise and live there eternally. That is the time of the gospel. That time is at hand. We, the gazelle, must find God's resting place by then and rest that resurrect him. That is our final prayer. Our final prayer? A final prayer to escape from the fate that was determined at our genesis. Majesty, is this the end? Bingo! Just as the report said, an Ave transport. And look at what we have on top! No mistaking it, that's a new Kislev model! It has to be the stolen gear everyone is after. Whatever the case, there's no way we are gonna let that Shikan guy have it. Look at his arm, that's fucking weird. Gunner! Turret A Anton and turret B Belta can initiate their electro electropometers 20 seconds after opening their hatches. Franz! I don't hear anything other than the flowing sound of the sand. No suspicious radar activity detected. Marcellus! The trans units are on standby at the catapults. They'll all be able to launch one minute after a resurface. 
Good, let's do it. Back on level one. Surface combat ready. Torpedo room ready. Any ear guns ready. Navigation and engineering are also ready. Young master, what is happening? What was the alarm all about? Not again, young master. Hold on a second. Battle stations, everyone. Surface navigation, begin operating the sand pump. Prepare to fire starboard cannons upon surfacing. Young master! Y young master! Trim to the right. The wind is strong up there, and we may be blown off balance. Jericho, hand the helm over to me. Look, what is that? A sand cruiser? It must be those desert pirates! Oh, they're firing between A and Tana B Belta Belta Belta. Calculating adjustments. Oh yeah! Switch modes over to salvos after the initial shots. Let's slow them down, get ready to give them a spank and they won't forget. Hey, young master, please wait! It may just be a requisition ship, not a warship! Let me handle this. Whether it's a warship or not, it's carrying a new gear. Let them have it. Judging by the angle, it seems as if a gun blast has made a hole in the hull. We will probably sink within minutes. A few minutes. Doc! It is locked. Somebody free us! Arrgh! Well, alright. Let's get out of here, Doc! Sorry for the flashing on screen, you guys. It just seems to be doing that. Flashing, not great guys, not great, not liking this. Ah oh, shit, but alright. We have to try a Hagan, we got a new ability to test out guys, here we go. Oh, there's lots of dudes here too. Alright. Uh, I'll show you guys Satan's Mufu. He beats him with an astral projection. Oh man, oh, okay. Alright, new attack. Let's try Hagan. That's basically Liu Kang's bicycle here. That was cool. I like that. Ah, oh, fuck. That was rude. I want it to be my turn now. Alright. Let's try the, his Ukigumo. Rex. You get to have a Senratsu done to you. I really like this ability. Kick, kick, kick. 
And wrecked. McCrunchy, I forget. Did you say whether you had played this or not? Victory. Nope, you have not. Alright, I got a lot of people in the stream that I haven't actually played this. That's cool, okay. He is level 15 now. His HP goes up by 7, 1 EP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 evade percentage, and 1 evade. You know, I never bothered to check what his abilities do if he has any spells. Leather nest. Oh, yeah. That's way better. Okay. That's a massive improvement. I'll take it. So yeah, this is Xenogears. It's uh, a pretty awesome RPG. Um, I'm having some issues with the game, but ooh, that was close. But uh, unfortunately, I should save. I'm hoping we've resolved most of them. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, McRonchie. We got the job on the screen. Also, apparently Shadow Drycan subbed, and I never got to see the thing pop up. Arena! Hello! Oh, we got Shamrocks! Check this out, uh, Arena. It's time for some Uki Gumo. Some Raijin. Oh, that was rude. Okay, that was also rude. We'll probably be Satan sin again. No, okay. Usually he goes really quick. This game doesn't look bad in combat? No, I actually really like the combat in this game. It's pretty solid. How much do I need to level up? Stan needs over a thousand. Two thousand. Okay, so I need a lot to level up. Marina, how's your day going? He can't learn his next ability until he hits 20, so... Let's use the top dirt. Are you fuckers? God damn it. Okay. Uh... I still killed him. That's all I care about. What, was your brother to buy parts for his mini server? Okay, uh, what's he making the mini server for? Like, does he have a, uh, a goal with it, or? Oh, I love her hat as well. Excellent. I didn't put that. Makes it use some pop jerky here real quick. There we go. Put this onto you. Instead of a fencing cap, we will use a leather hat. That's another plus four defense. 
We're rolling in the defense now. Unfortunately, we're running into a fight every eight seconds. I love the martial arts in this though. Posting art for his friends and has a NAS for you and him. It's a good idea. Uh, Macronchi has a, uh, a NAS that he uses, I think. And he hosts ARC, uh, or at least he did host ARC for uh, many of our crew that play it. So that's a good idea. Doc, where did you go, Doc? Hey, can you hear me? I am moving the crane towards Waltel's cockpit. Hurry up the crane to Waltel. We're going under fast. I got you, Doc. When you're done, you hurry up there too, okay? Okay, how do I... Oh, right. I can jump. Ah! Whew. I think if you don't get that quick enough, it will actually count as killing you. This is a game over. Here we go again! You and I seem to have a faded relationship. Come on, Doc! Over here! Hurry up! No. Um, not exactly. There are ruins of a previous civilization, but we're just in a desert right now. He brought his full scale server too, 500 total gigabytes of RAM, but uh, for now it makes too much noise to keep in my RAM. Oh, that makes sense. Whoa. Whoops. Are you okay, Doc? <laughs> well, Dr. Satana Zuki, it feels like you've cast, sacked your saccules and tickled your utricles enough for one lifetime. Ooh, wow, dizzy. Sorry about that, Doc. I didn't have time to open up the cockpit. Are you really okay, Doc? Faye, I was only joking. Riding in the hand was not so bad. I can see what is so good about this top-secret experimental Kislev machine. Yeah, when I started it up, it began doing all kinds of stuff by itself. The environmental response system and weight reduction hovering kicked in straight away, automatically. Really? Amazing! Save yourselves. Save yourselves, but leave your friends to sink in a sea of sand? Don't you believe in comradeship? Uh-uh? Is the keys about Tadarak? It's not very manly of you two to die, or to leave your platoon to die when you run away in a gear, you know. Wait one moment, we're not a bit soldiers! Hmm. Can't you make a better plea for your life? You come jumping out of an abyss ship and claim that you're not a bit soldiers. Stop trying to fool me! I tell you it's true! Tch, how the 
pathetic are you? Even if you're the pettiest of soldiers, how's that showing- how's about showing a little spine? And put up a decent fight! Stop it, I'm telling you I'm no soldier! I don't want to fight! How nauseating! Why don't you stop grumbling? Leave the gear and run away! For someone who doesn't want to fight, you're quite powerful! I see. An all environment model, huh? So that's how it is. Now I want it even more! Alright. Take that. Ah, uh, sorry. Walk without rhythm so you don't disturb the worm. Accuracy and evasion death, of course. Brigandier! So basically, uh, try, uh, shit. Um, McCrunchy. The basic premise of the world here is that, uh, they, uh, there are two nations at war, like a typical JRPG, and they are, um, Ave and Kislev. Ave is the desert town and Kislev is somewhere else. I don't know where the fuck they are right now, I don't remember. Anyway, they, um, found these gears here, which are these giant robots, they're called gears, in, uh, in some ruins. And the uh, ruins, uh, it started changing the course of the war, but they started fighting over the gears as well. And Kislev eventually got the upper hand. In the fight. But then a group called Gebler uh, came out of nowhere with really powerful gears and started helping obey. But... Our story starts when someone crash landed the gear I'm using right now, the blue one, in our town, and um, caused everyone to die. And our, our character got into it and basically started shit that he shouldn't have. Huh? Oh no! This is not good! In the heat of battle, I go and get caught in quicksand? Darn me of all people! Damn, it's all your fault! Boy, are you gonna get it later, so be darn ready! Why? Hey, come down here now. I'm not gonna kill you. All I want is for you to leave this gear. Huh? Hey! You're not an Abyss soldier. I told you that in my intercom transmission earlier. You're the one who refused to listen to me, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah. I remember you were saying something like that. I went off half-cocked and thought you were the enemy. Uh, my name is Bart. I'm the pirate that works this territory. My name is Faye. I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into that Abyss transport ship, it was nearly going to be sent to a concentration camp until you went and blew the thing to blazes. Anyway, I'm just glad to have been able to survive. I see. Well, I'm glad I at least helped you out a little. But I didn't expect a civilian like you would be riding in a military gear. Besides, this gear is a brand new model. I've never seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. Where are we anyway? Looks like we fell into a one weird place. I've never heard of a huge stalactite cave such as this existing under the desert before. What? You don't know anything, do you? Where are you from? The desert only covers about 1,000 shawls of the outer layer of the earth. The stratum underneath that consists of igneous rock. From a sea of trees to a sea of sand and now a stalactite cave. What's next? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Never mind. We're in trouble. Look, the holy velter has disappeared. We better find some other way out. So you want to call a truce for now? At least until we find an exit and get out of here? Yes, agreed. First, we gotta find a way out of here, so let's get going. Ah, I gotta love that bloat text. <sighs> Thank God, I didn't want to dry up and die in the desert. Hey, you! I know you're tired, but don't go any further than that. Shut up! You sunk our ship! Don't you think about it, don't you forget that. No, you shut up! Just be thankful that you were saved. Excuse me. 
Is there anyone who is almost dead, with no arms or legs, or in need of an ab abdominal of operation? No one? Well, that's depressing. Alright then. I see. So your yo young one has not just been shooting at anything and everything then, Sigurd. Yes, he actually calculated this attack, or so he says. As you can see, no one has died this time either. Sigurd sir, the collection of the goods and soldiers from the FA transport is almost complete. We still can't locate the young master. General Matreya's platoon will scout around again. Okay, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Since I'm part of the unit, I'll also excuse myself. So what happened to this young one you call Master? He fell into an underground cave with that other guy in a gear. It's near an old excavation site, and he is riding in a gear, so he'll probably be able to come up somehow. We'll try to find him for a while. If that doesn't work, then we'll wait for him at our meeting point. You seem to trust him a lot. Trust him? Yeah, I trust he'll get us into trouble. But I never thought I would meet you here, Hugh. It is not coincidence. It is an inve inevitable consequence, I assume. Hyuga, are you saying something is about to happen? Oh man, now we have to actually move around in the gears. They look ridiculous. Why am I in a fight? I'm just trying to save. Medusoid. Rude. Why is he full HP? My care is where it was before. Whatever. Try your B attack or square attack. Okay, I just missed this lovely. Anyway, um, yeah, that uh, that that doctor was kind of scary. They're just like, hey, um, I really, really, really want to do some surgery. All right, we got six HP, one EP, one attack, one defense. Okay, oh. That's not working for me. Why can't I use the save point? Shit. There. Okay. Unfortunately, my knowledge of Xenogears universe is not extensive, as I've only played the game twice, both when I was very young, when I was very young, and the game itself, um, Square didn't invest in it as much as it should have, I think, so. While it's a fantastic game, it, you can see it has its graphical limitations, but it is a PS1 game, 1998 was its release date, and it did win Game of the Year, I believe, so. Oh wait, can I press stuff on him? I can. Increases response in defense. I don't get a weapon. You get a leather G-whip. Extra armor, plus one. 
increases agility in desert and prevents camera damage. Okay, that seems decent. Okay, so I don't... Hey, Faye! My sensors are responding to something. There appears to be quite a large cavern on the other side of here. He's stuck in the rock. If we can get rid of this rock, but I don't think it's possible. Hey, this is huge. What can we do with this? I doubt you can break it. I guess we could try pushing it. Wait, no matter how you look at it. What the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help! Yeah, we did it! Oh, there's treasure chest there, too. We can get it, get by if we help each other. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. The hydromechanic pipe from my knee joint is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling, followed by pushing this mega-colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my gear malfunctions in a huge cavern like this. Your friends won't come and help us? It'll be a waste of time waiting. They probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? We believe in a liberal upbringing. They'll think we can escape by ourselves. I wonder if Doc is okay. Don't worry about the man you're, you were with. I'm sure our guy saved him by now. What is it? We wouldn't have fallen down here if you had only listened to me. Don't blame it on me. You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All I wanted was your gear. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. What else was I supposed to do? I thought I might die if I didn't fight you. I was taking it easy on you, couldn't you tell? Then you're a bit dense. Don't lie to me, I know you were serious. What, you want some? Let's have it out, right here! Wait, settling it right here comes first. I won't be able to get anything done until we settle this once and for all. I thought you wanted a truce for now. Getting out of here should come first. Once we're out of here, then I'll fight you all you want. Let's hurry up and move on out of here. I don't like you very much. Damn it! I'll get out, I'll get you when we get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck, Bart? He's just gonna gyrate it open. Yeah, pretty much. There's a treasure chest over here, though. I see it. Gold nugget. Okay, cool. We're in Pokemon now. Ha, that's our exit. To the next area. You can actually spend a decent amount of time leveling here, but, uh... I don't like leveling in the gears because they have limited fuel and charge is annoying. Nomad fix spot. Zero damage. Hey, I won. I'm gonna give too much EXP though. Limited fuel and difficult to heal. Right, exactly. You get it. That's why I don't level like leveling on the gears. Try for members. And this keeps massive. Could you imagine walking through this area? Eve, excavation site number eight, gear number three, tell current situation. Sand sensors have detected an abnormal amount of sand. The sand barrier south of Terra Stones has been sealed to prevent sand from entering excavation site. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. I 
There's a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop the shifting of sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located to the east of Barrier Wall. Okay. Apparently there's somebody here that, uh, is maintaining these on ship. These little dudes are gonna try and fight me. I'm not that certain it's worth the fuel to fight them though. Why can't he just like whip and kill all four of them? No, we gotta go one by one. Nice chunky EXP though. Hey, he's all set 14. 6 HP, 1 EP, 1 defense, and 1 ether defense. And I got another extra armor. Tuscan Raiders! Or stomp. Yeah, like, you stomp on them and kill them, but no, they're gonna do this, like, fucking. little punch thing. I mean, I could stomp on them if I use 30 fuel, but why would I use 30 fuel for that? Seems like a waste. Iron Jeep. Okay, well that is a worthy treasure chest. Hang on. Uh, after I equip this, I am going to reset my recording because I forgot to do that. There, now he's got plus six attack. There we go. Wait, why are you using a leather whip on a gear? That doesn't seem effective at all. <laughs> 